Good morning. It is Christmas Eve, December 24th, Monday. How are you guys doing today? So one thing I want to say is the moon is going to be moving into Leo today, but we still have a lot of compassionate, loving energy left over from the full moon in Cancer. A lot of people are feeling emotional, and I think I mentioned before, there's like a lot of people that are getting healings healing through their dreams or if they're not dreaming or don't remember their dreams they're still healing while they sleep so a lot of people are waking up tired um they're waking up uh from these dreams confused because it felt so real and what that is is this whatever you're dreaming about is not real but the feelings that you got from them are what's real this is healing Okay, these are things that need to be purged. You are getting closure is basically what's happening. Okay, so there's this kind of depressing hush. I mean, overall, people are trying to remain really happy because it's the holiday season, but at the same time, everybody just kind of wants to relax at home <laughs> and not have to deal with the uh, TMS, too much stimulation. <laughs> Okay, so numbers for today, we have 6 and 20, and we also have uh, Mercury and Sagittarius is squaring Neptune and Pisces. Okay, so we have an addition, we have 11, 11, 6, 20, and 13. So basically today, we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 6, oh, 14, 15, no wait, I lied. Boy, I'm just messing that all up, I'm throwing all kinds of numbers out there. Okay, so we've got 11, 11. 12, 13, 14, 6, and 20, okay? Now, 11, 11 is a manifestation portal, so we are manifesting something into physical form today, okay? The manifestation portal is open, and we have 12, 13, and 14. So this is about ideas, beliefs, uh, communication, um, lots of well-wishing on social media. Um, 13 is transformation, so people are talking about uh, they're they're really um, emotionally sensitive about how they feel or what they they believe or they're express, expressing what they believe and six the numbers for today is six and twenty the day and the date numbers that's about doing what you love being socially responsible um, it's about showing others you care through service doing what you love okay six is the healer and the caregiver's number and 20 is all about trusting in the universe to create harmony or working together with somebody and trusting that's what you're supposed to do okay by allowing them to heal now i think i said it we also have the moon and leo and i'm zooming from that i'm getting a lot of energy uh this morning <laughs> i took like three sips of my coffee and it felt like i'd already drank the pot Okay, and then there's the Mercury and Sag squaring Neptune and Pisces. There could be, uh, you could have a hard time paying attention. You could feel kind of stupid. There is a tendency to fool yourself or fool others or somebody maybe trying to blow smoke up your ass or pull the wool over your eyes. And there's baggage that's going to be coming up today. Okay, so a lot of us are acknowledging that we need to let people do their own feeling if they're feeling sad you can encourage them but you can't fix that for them okay any sadness or depression can only be cured by the person who's holding on to the sadness and depression okay they have to release it because that is what is anchoring them to this 3d timeline and not allowing them to move forward into their true destiny Sorry, I just had to check there because it popped out reverse. Okay, so Knight of Wands, first card immediately. And this is somebody. Ooh, boy, I'm getting the energy downloads. My hairs are standing up and I can feel the waves as it zooms all over me like fast. Kind of like that. Electrical downloads. Okay. Knight of Wands reverse. Knight of Wands is about ambition. Okay, so some, somebody here, 444, somebody here is lacking in motivation. Um, or they're basically saying, I don't really want to. Or they're, um, 
I want to say hesitating, but not hesitating. It's more like they're holding back. They know they know that they should do something, but it's intrepidation. It's like being not being scared, but not necessarily ready to perform. No, we'll see. I'll pull another couple. Oh, wow. Okay, Page of Swords. Let me finish shuffling this deck before I translate um, the cards. Okay, Page of Swords. This is communication. Page of Swords is about ideas, communicating an idea. So somebody... Somebody's not really feeling in the Christmas spirit. I mean, we're all kind of happy and jolly, but there's a, uh, that's an overtone. There's an undertone of exhaustion, being tired, knowing that you have to go and deal with the family through this time because it is the holidays. It's like, it's almost like a, a burden. You don't know if you can go through with it because you don't quite have the energy. So you might be saying, oh, I'm just not ready for these holidays. <laughs> Lacking motivation, communicating how you feel. And then we have the emperor. Emperor is stability, it's control, it is power. This is somebody who is an achiever, okay? So you may be feeling like you don't wanna be overstimulated because you're already overstimulated right now and you're really trying hard to maintain balance, to maintain a control. Or this could be somebody that's pulling a power trip on you. They could be projecting. This is this could be like bitty communication. Um, we're gonna do this my way, or I'm not doing what you want. You're gonna do what I want. Yeah, this is basically like not wanting to deal with the holiday traditions and just wanting to do what you want to do because you need to be like in a close space, something intimate. You want to feel comfortable. So you're communicating that you don't feel like dealing with all the festivities and that you might want to stay home and be comfortable. But, and the next card has just come up. This is... Oh, two cards. Three of cups. Okay, but you will have to attend some kind of festivities with family and friends. You can't. <laughs> you just can't avoid it. You don't really feel like it. Um, you may not feel like partying, but you're going to go party. Um, it, it is Christmas. Get your ass out there. Okay, even if it's just for a couple of hours, uh, you need to go have some fun and break up the depressing overtone of the day the depressing overtone of, of the holidays okay then you have the six of swords this is about past karmic lessons that right now we are doing an extreme amount of healing in our sleep um with the full moon we just had we had gemini in the 12th house so there was some closure there was some dreams that's bringing us closer to closure and a lot of people especially the earth signs are having dreams already um and some people with these all these planets that we've been having in pisces and the moon touching base with pisces every couple of weeks we are getting an extraordinary amount of psychic intuition um healing purging and a lot of people are discovering that they have talents in their dreams such as being able to hold conversations or direct or control their dreams or they're getting prophetic dreams or they're getting healings in their dreams that's allowing them to operate at a different level so when they dream and all this stuff happens during their sleep when they wake up they're a changed person okay they're definitely different because of what's going on the psyche unconsciously uh working things out okay so some people may be experiencing primary fear fears um here before i said this could be a possible projection 
somebody could be trying to overcome their fears and might possibly try to project because this is something, a karmic lesson that they have to move through. Six is also a number for today. You know, there's uh, caring, healing. Okay, so a lot of people are getting closure on something. They might be communicating that they're getting healing or closure on it, or they might not just be ready to heal and might just tie one on and overdo it. Oh, gosh. Bam, there it is. <laughs> okay. I'll get to it in a second. Let me finish. We love this card. We love this card. Trust in the universe. Okay. This is a major new cycle where we are creating the maps of our lives. We're creating the push pin, um, the areas that we need to solidify. We're creating our own cities on the maps. Okay. And then we are building the connections in between the cities and we're going to fill those in later but we need to basically create the city so basically with this full moon in cancer all of us wanted to belong something somewhere belong to an idea belong to a group of people belong to a family uh, belong to hawaii belong to wherever you're living i don't know not black sands not a volley hawaiian beaches whoever <laughs> belong to your religion um we just want to belong to something some kind we want to be one of we want to be one of the collective finding our place in the world where we're comfortable and feel happy finding the happy place <laughs> is basically what it is okay and the fool he's got a lot of sun energy in the background starting fresh starting new giving new something new your focus your attention and your energy and you could feel a little disconnected at this time like this could be, you know, psychic downloads coming in. Um, you, there's an extreme amount of things going on, energy being used while we're sleeping. So I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, being feeling disconnected. Like I was saying, you, you're waking up and you're feeling different. So you're feeling a little out of sorts. Um, that's because things are happening that's changing you. You're now brand new <laughs> where there was where you were holding space for feeling at home at something now you've gone forward and you've begun to move towards making the decision to feeling at home with blank a person place or thing even idea um job so you're uh oh and you're feeling good about leaving it behind, okay? You see him here, he's off on a new track. He's off on to face destiny, okay? And these things are going, <laughs> he's going in this direction and this is going in this direction, okay? This is done, this is over. Um, lessons have been learned or lessons are being brought up in order to create a space to start something new or begin a new karmic cycle in whatever this past lesson was. The lovers. Six. Yet another six. Okay, so somebody here had recently had the chance to either play the victim or make a choice, okay? And it was part of their karmic lesson, but they chose wisely. They mustered up their courage and it took every bit of their self-control, but they made the right choice, okay? They trusted that what was for the best was meant for them and that whatever was meant for them is for the best. And no matter what, even if you just ended a relationship or if you're sitting at home or whatever, the best thing for you to do is to go out and hang out with family or friends. Just a small circle. You know, you don't have to go to like the, the bang and rager. 
you know what I mean, to whoop it up a little bit at Christmas. Just a small, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, spread a little bit of happiness or allow your friends and family to make you happy. Mm, we also have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is like inner conflict. Conflict about karmic lessons. Okay, so there's some emotions coming up. And therefore, you to purge. Although it's been hard for you, you've been comfortable with these this baggage for so long that it's hard for you to let go. Um, you're weaning yourself <laughs> from your baggage, and basically, this is something you have to do by yourself. Your partner's there. You guys have already decided that you're committed. Now you're going through this period of healing. So everybody needs to step back and let people go through their healing. They're battling themselves to release these demons. And it's taking a lot of, of bravery and compassion, but there are people who are moving forward and taking that risk and healing from something that kept, that's kept them stuck for so long. You know, they're getting out of this Everything is so unfair. Energy. Oh boy. Okay, so we have the King of Cups and it's reversed. And it's also it also fell out across the Six of Swords. So somebody is going to have a meltdown, um, an emotional meltdown in terms of whatever needs to be healed. Um, with the Sun in Capricorn and the Full Moon in Cancer that just passed, it could be anything about father issues, mother issues, um, 12th house action, closure, healings, um, just not feeling good about themselves. This is definitely a meltdown. Um, I'm sorry I did. I'm sorry I kicked that frog on the road two years ago. I, you know, anything. It's definitely something from the past that they're sad about and they're losing control. Ten of Swords, okay, like I was saying, how these burdens, Ten of Swords is completion of, this is ruin, it's completion of ruin, this is basically the worst being over, okay, so you've got to be brave and put that burden down, you have a lot of conflict, These, like I was saying, it's a stubborn energy that doesn't want to be released, but what you're realizing is the situation has been over. This is just the energy and the thoughts from that situation that still plague you, that ghost that you need to get rid of, okay? You got to be brave. It's time to release the ghosts and leave them in the past where they belong. So that's what's going to be happening here. Um, people are going to be unburdening their soul. side up on the queen of cups and queen of pentacles oh beautiful beautiful energy okay so queen of cups and the queen of pentacles fell out on the knight of wands reversed and the page of swords so this is communicating that you're not very motivated and this is you <laughs> this is you um your queenly energy okay this is Good fortune and empathy. So you empathize with what they're feeling, this depression. You understand it's okay. And, you know, you have the compassion towards people that are coming from this place of fear. Okay. This is definitely part of the karmic lessons. And people are going to be pouring their hearts out to you because you understand Okay, you empathize with their situation. And at the same time, you're trying to stay balanced. Okay, and you're manifesting. This is manifest manifestation. This is a good sign, good fortune. This could be. They're coming to you to unburden their souls because they feel like you understand and you can handle their energy. Every energy needs an outlet to be expressed. So when you're coming with this kind of energy, 
it has to be expressed somehow, okay? And what happens is they communicate to you. Why you? Because you understand. You can feel, you can take their negative energy and, and transmute it into positive energy or rid them of that, okay? And then what happens is everybody has this. It's a party after, okay? So somebody's coming to you and they're going to melt down because they trust you and they know that you understand where they're coming from. So, you know, today it's 6 and 20, so it is caregiver's day. Bam, 11-11. We have 11-11 today. Okay, so there's lots of manifestation coming on. Um, and it is Christmas Eve, so a lot of things that people wish for, they could be getting. <laughs> because 11-11 is all about bringing, pulling your intents, the energy of your intents. You put them out there into the universe. Law of attraction, right? Now it's coming back to you. Your wishes are being granted. And a lot of people are going to be having their wishes granted today. What they wanted is going to happen. And for some of them, it's Christmas presents. And for others, it's marriage and commitment. Because this is also marriage and commitment. And for others, this is going to be whoever this person is. This could be the partner. Oh, I didn't even see this. We've got the Ten of Cups. King of Cups and Ten of Cups. What that means is addiction. Okay, this is alcohol addiction. This could be somebody's shit face when they're crying to you, when they're losing control. Um, where did I just put that? Oh, when they're losing control of their emotions. Okay, and they're telling you they're not motivated, they're not vo motivated in life, this is the end. This could be like people are feel feeling suicidal because they're afraid to quit this. They're afraid to quit their addiction. I'm addicted to fill in the blank. I drink too much, I do too much drugs, I do too much shopping, I have too much sex, I'm male crazy, I'm female crazy. Whatever it is, you spend too much energy on excess that's overboard. It's not quite a hobby. It's beyond a hobby and borders obsession. <laughs> it's time to quit. <laughs> it's time to put that burden down. I'm mixing all my cards up over here. But, yeah, I see it. Somebody's going to have a meltdown about their addiction issues. Okay. Very, very depressing. Um, they're fighting with themselves. They're trying their best to unburden it, but they're afraid of unburdening it. And you step back and let the process happen. That too went flying. <laughs> okay, let's see. Source. Okay, so these are all re these are all reversed. Okay, so we've got some psychic downloads coming in because we've got a couple things in reverse here. I'm feeling the energy, so that's what I'm thinking it is. The Empress, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, somebody has to release this burden. It's part of their karmic lessons. It's definitely something they have to be brave about and face. This is their destiny, where they're supposed to be coming. They have a choice. They can be the victim, or they can be the victor. They control it. Okay, this inner turmoil. They're going to communicate the inner turmoil to you. And it can be while you're celebrating with friends, or it can be a friend communicating it to you. And they communicate it to you because they trust you can handle it. They know that you're open and that you will treat them with kindness and compassion because you are love. People are releasing and trusting in the universe and walking into the new or you're going to be helped. They're asking for help to walk into this new, okay? 
your commitment is solid. Today is a day of manifestation. So a lot of people, this, even though the full moon was at zero point the other day, today could be the zero point because it's Christmas. People might finally be releasing their ghosts of Christmas past. So the three, right side up first. Nine of Pentacles, taking care of yourself. This is not happening right now. <laughs> I mean, if you're wanting to celebrate, if you really want to celebrate with friends, you know, that's great. And that is part of self-care, but it's reversed right now, meaning that you've got to send energy out to a whole bunch of people because it's the holidays when really you want to cuddle up at home with the book or something good on TV. <laughs> okay, so... Nine of Pentacles is reversed. You're taking care of others' needs before yours today because it is the holidays. Okay. And then we have Empress. Things aren't taking root. You're still in the process of integrating. And because some tower moments or some sudden awakenings might happen today because the, of the emotions and, you know, the holidays, uh, all that emotional energy that is present... It's not time for seeds to grow yet, okay? The seeds are being spoken. Even though we did have a full moon and something came to a completion, that always means a new beginning, okay? That always means a new seed has been planted for growth. It's not happening yet. There's no work going on in that because we got to deal with the holidays first, okay? Then we have the King of Swords reversed. So somebody is not feeling very traditional, okay? Maybe... You don't want to do the whole Christmas turkey tree with everybody, the whole family deal. Everybody is kind of making their own private individual Christmas. Like uh, instead of going to the family's house this year, the family decided to go to somebody else's house. So, And you weren't really feeling like going over to their house. You had some other plans which actually weren't plans, but you just wanted to kind of lie in bed and watch TV <laughs> and just have it and really intimate intimate holiday all right guys so have a good christmas i hope it's nice and private and quiet and drama less but i don't know we shall see huh as a matter of fact let's uh let's pull one one of the hawaiian healing intentions cards just to get a little uh good boost see what Almakua has to say about it oh there it is that's the one Beautiful harmony. Okay, seven awakenings, being at peace with yourself, with others, with your reality, with what is. Lokahi, my intention is to create harmony within and in all of my endeavors by letting go of judgment and by allowing and embracing diversity. Harmony occurs when divorce forces flow together, allowing the unified whole to come into balance. By accepting and allowing the diversity within your own being and in the world around you, resistance and judgment fall away and harmony occurs. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, so let go of your ego and come from a place of compassion. Merry Christmas.